everyone, welcome back to the kitchen. We're gonna start things off with a tried and true favorite, a hot cocoa mix. You guys have seen me make so many of these in the past and today is not going to disappoint you. Chocolate raspberry hot cocoa mix. This recipe is gonna be available in my new cookbook, Drink and Be Merry, which is a collection of 32 homemade drink mixes that you can whip up in no time right in your home kitchen and give as gifts throughout the holiday season. Let's go see how this all comes together. ready to make this delicious chocolate raspberry hot cocoa mix and the recipe for this is going to be available in my newest cookbook drink and be merry and it's a collection of every drink mix that I have ever ever shared and then some. It's got 32 drink mix recipes, everything from cocos to tea mixes to coffee blends and I know you're gonna love it. We're gonna do this recipe today and you can get the full measurements in the cookbook, I'm gonna link down below where you can go and purchase it, it's $9.95. And not only did I give you the recipes, but I also created really cute little gift tags that you can attach to your jars or your bags or your boxes when you go ahead and give these as gifts for the holidays. Super simple. I really try and make all my drink mix recipes as simple as possible. So we're gonna use some granulated sugar, some dry milk powder. This is just regular old dry milk, like powdered milk. We're gonna use some cocoa powder. This is a semi-sweet chocolate bar that has been grated. Some non-dairy coffee creamer, you know, that dry creamer that your grandma used to use and the kind that you get at church. And the magic of this is the chocolate pudding mix. This is instant chocolate pudding. And then we're gonna get our raspberry flavor from raspberry jello and then all you have to do is mix this up you can also do this in your food processor or in your mixer and get a super super fine blend on it i'm going to go ahead and turn the kettle on and get some hot water going and that way when we come back i can show you what this looks like when it's all made up and also we're going to give it a taste test raspberry is one of rick's favorite fruit flavors so we'll be right back I got all of our chocolate raspberry hot cocoa mix packaged up and ready to give. Just as a few examples for you all, um, I also printed out the tags. Now I just printed this out on printer paper, so this is just regular old printer paper. I have a PDF version, it's an e-cookbook, so you'll be able to go ahead and use your, your snipping tool and you'll be able to select this and then paste it like into Word or Publisher or some other uh, desktop publishing program and then you can just print as many off as you need just copy and paste it and then what I have is like on the back it gives the instructions to add a quarter cup of mix to 8 to 12 ounces of water stir and enjoy I've left plenty of room here so you can use a stamp or you can write to and from or you can have a little holiday greeting and then you can just punch a fold it in half punch a hole and then tie it to your gift I went ahead and added some of these cute little stickers that I've had in my stash for a while to the top of these two jars and then I made a couple of cocoa cones these are made with 18 inch decorator icing bags and I just filled up the bag with the uh, cocoa mix this whole batch I think you're gonna get between six and eight gifts depending on how full you fill your jars if you use a jelly jar this is a one cup gift and they'll be able to get four cups of delicious cocoa from this gift or they'll be able to get eight cups of cocoa from this one this gift here the cocoa cone they do make smaller cones you can get 12 16 or 18 inch cones the 12 inch cone is probably gonna hold about a cup this one's probably holding about three cups so this one's probably going to give about a dozen cups of hot cocoa so keep that in mind we're gonna go ahead and make up this is what was left it's just a little bit over a quarter of a cup of mix add your hot water give it a stir and then I also thought what might be fun is if you have access to um, freeze-dried raspberries it might be nice if you're gonna make one of these cocoa cones you could mix dried raspberries and mini marshmallows together just as a decorative element in the top and put on the top of the mix and then 
and then tie it together with a pretty ribbon. You can go a lot of different directions with this and you can get the full recipe in my new cookbook which is called Drink and Be Merry. That was Rick's idea and I think it's super adorable. Um, and it's just exclusively all of my drink mixes plus a half a dozen new ones that I have never shared including this raspberry hot cocoa mix. And I think you're gonna love it. This is a really great way to knock a whole bunch of people off of your gift giving list and it's very inexpensive, it's very affordable, and it's very economical. I'm gonna give this a sip. Oh, that's nice. Rick's gonna give it a sip. Super rich, and it just has that undertone of raspberry. It's really, really good, and it's not too sweet. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's good. That reminds me of something. It does, it reminds me of something too. I don't know what though, Yeah. but in any case, that's really delicious. It is. If you want to boost the amount of raspberry flavor, you can add more than one packet of the raspberry jello powder. That's entirely up to you. So you're the one who makes that call. Um, but that's how you do it. It's super easy. And it is included in my new cookbook, Drink and Be Merry. You can get more information about where you can obtain your copy down below in the information box. It's going to take you over to my website where I've built a page where you can go ahead and learn a little bit more about it and get your own copy. But get it soon because the holidays are upon us and these are super easy to make. And you guys, you can make these from ingredients you probably have on hand already. And it's gonna be super impressive and your friends are gonna love it, I promise. So. I hope you give this a try. And if you like today's video, please consider giving me a thumbs up. And if you're new to my kitchen, welcome. If you came seeking great ideas for holiday gift giving, um, you have come to the right place. So I hope that you will hit that subscribe button. And as always, if you are a tried and true member of the Noreen's Kitchen family, be sure and hit the bell notification button and set your YouTube homepage to your subscription feed so that you don't miss out on all the real food for real people, real easy recipes, and holiday gift giving ideas that we share all the time right here from our YouTube channel and straight from our kitchen. I hope you give this chocolate raspberry hot cocoa mix a try and I hope you love it. And until next time, I'll see ya.